Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to present to you the new stat allocation features or system that is coming in RPG Builder version 1.1. It is actually split in two parts as I'm going to show you right now. So the first part is when you now go in game and click on new characters, the UI changed a bit but don't really pay attention to that because it will actually be completely replaced for 1.1, uh, reskinned with a lot better like images and stuff. But anyway, uh, as you can see on the right here, I'm going to maximize. Uh, we now have this panel here, which let us actually spend some points. So we see that we have 20 points and we have a few stats that we can um, add to our character. And you also see that when I select a new class now, so from sorcerer to warrior, it's actually changing this list. So um, all of this is very, you know, easy to configure as always. So for example, the way it works for the main menu part is that you can go, for example, to general races. And here you have the uh, stat allocation part. And here you can decide for this race, how many points should be given to um, spend, right? So how many available points for this race? And then you can add as many stats as you want here to be added to um, the list of available ones here. So for example, you can see that the human race is making it possible to add some health, intellect, and strength. So here we have health, intellect, and strength. And this uh, magic pierce one is not actually coming from the race, but this one is coming from the uh, class. So here, if we go to class again, we also have stat allocation, but this one with menu, and I'm going to come to this part a bit later. It also has a field to let you um, give a specific amount of points. And here you see that we have magic pierce. So in this case, uh, magic pierce will be added. And of course, um, as you can imagine, if we select warrior, we have armor pierce, which is why when you select uh, warrior, it is changing the stat here. So pretty cool. And uh, it's combining the total point of the race and the class to let you spend. So in this case, 10 and 10, which is now 20 total. And uh, we can spend those points. Now, um, as you can see, um, well, first of all, you know, all of this is uh, very well made. You of course, can't interact with things when they shouldn't be interacted. If you spend all your points and, you know, um, you can't really spend anything anymore. But as you can see here, I wanted to show you that, um, look at my point here. I have currently 20. And if I click on health, it's not using one only. And it's also not adding one health. It's actually adding 10 health and using two points. And this is because you have full freedom on how this is working. So um, here, if we go to general races and the human, you can see that the health stat here, um, the cost, we can actually assign the cost and the amount added per stat entry. So here we can decide for the health to cost two points and to get to give 10 health. You could choose, for example, for the intellect to uh, cost five points and uh, maybe give um, two intellect. And I can just save that and um, go back here. And intellect will now cost five points. As you can see, it went from 18 to 13. I'm going to refund them. So you see we are at 18. We go to 13 and we now have plus two intellect. And, you know, so we're just going to spend our points. Let's maybe go to 100 health and maybe some um, strength and let's say one armor piece. I also want to show you something really quickly. It's not really related to this video, but I finally added those like pop-ups, which tells you when something is wrong. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and trade the character. And now, as you can see, um, as we go in game, we have 104 health, 100 from the stat allocation and uh, four from those two armor pieces. I'm going to take them off so we really see the exact values. And uh, we have 1% armor piece and um, I think we added ourselves some intellect. And yeah, that's pretty much it and some strength. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, main menu part, right? So you see that we can uh, have full control and actually you know, design our character um, before even getting into game. And now the second part is um, the points that you can now spend in game. So uh, the way it works is that I'm going to give myself some points, but first uh, let me show you a bit how it works. So we go back to RPG Builder. It is not in races in this case because races is only, you know, um, it's not something you can actually level up, at least not yet. But if we go to classes now, you see that we have stat allocation game. And this is um, going to let you do the exact same thing as that, but uh, stats that can then be, um, you know, 
allocated in game. So uh, if we go to classes right now, you see that both are empty. And this is because uh, the, um, the intellect uh, stats I can see here is actually coming from the skill, uh, the alchemy skill. So for example, in this case, you could define also not only classes, but you could define uh, skills that let you um, allocate some points. And you can see that this is, for example, um, costing five amount added to and it also has a max value so this is going to clump the uh, maximum um, maximum amount of stats that you can get from uh, you know the allocation and the last thing that you can assign stats to uh, for the game is uh, weapon templates so weapon templates just as everything else can also have their own stats now you may wonder how do you actually get those points right um the point that we see here which is zero right now it's very easy. Uh, you actually um, simply use the point system, which is currently used for talent trees, but you can now simply use a um, uh, one of those points, create it. You can call it whatever you want, have an icon, etc. You can decide how much will be uh, started with. You can decide the maximum. So this, for example, you could decide uh, to have only 20 point total in your game, you know, um, that you can allocate. And just like anything else, you can add some gain requirements. So um, in this case, you have quite a lot of options actually and freedom. So for example, you could make it uh, so that everyone um, or rather every time a warrior is leveling up, it is going to get one point or any class you have. You could also decide, uh, for example, to have uh, this happening when a skill is leveling up or when an NPC is killed. So for example, Every time I kill the bear boss, I could get one point um, or maybe, you know, um, it's pretty much however you want to set it up or items. Every time I get an item, uh, maybe five of these items and I get one point. And also, of course, every time a weapon template is leveling up. And this, uh, the last thing you have to do for this to actually be used for stat allocation is now to go under settings, combat and stats. And you just have to um, assign the um, new point type you created here. So in my case, start allocation point. And now this is this type of point that will be used for um, for your um, character in game. So um, now if we go in game and I'm going to go ahead and give myself some points. Uh, so start allocation point 20. I'm going to open my uh, character stats and I want to show you the um, uh, intellect field and that's it and now every time i add a um, point you see that i can uh, i mean my intellect is going up also you see that now the button here to uh, refund the point is disabled so that's another settings you can have here so um here scan decrease points yes or no uh, you can just save this now if we go ahead go back in game and actually refresh the ui you can see that uh, it now let us um use uh, rather you know like decrease those points or refund those points so that's a bit more freedom for you and the last option is also uh, spend all stat points and this is um, going to be for the main menu so if you go to combat spend all stat points you see that if I now go in game try to create a new character and do spend some points but not all of them and uh, have a valid name it's going to tell us um, all stat points need to be spent. And if I turn this off, we can now go in game. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, let me quickly show you how easy it's going to be for you to um, tweak those things. So let's say that we now wanted to add some more uh, uh, stats for our, um, not this class actually for the sorcerer one. So let's say the sorcerer should also have some CC power. I'm going to try to make it quick just for uh, the video. Uh, save that, maybe the skill herbalism could let us um, get some, uh, I don't know, uh, move speed, maybe one up and that's it. That's going to be um, fine for now. Now we can go in game continue and uh, well either is going to be fine actually let's just go back to this one and um, now you see that we have the uh, movement speed added and of course we are on the warrior um, class right now so we don't see the stats that we added but I could add myself some uh, movement speed 
and it will work um, just fine. And now if we go back to the um, um, class, I mean the sorcerer one, I think this one, yeah, this one was a sorcerer. You can see that we now have CC power, healing done, and uh, movement speed all available to us. So that's great. That's pretty much all I wanted to show in this video. Um, I hope you like the system. It was something that was not planned in the roadmap, but it's something um, a lot of people ask for. And personally, you know, it's something I like, um, especially the in-game part where I can actually, you know, every time I level up or something, I actually kind of customize my character. So yeah, it's um, pretty fun, I think. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comment and on Discord and see you in the next video.